So, I feel like it's been a while since uh, I've done one of the, well first, let me say this, the fires. We are safe here in uh, where I live in LA, but we were positioned between two very large fires and they actually canceled school for half of last week because the air quality was so bad. To when the wind is gonna pick up again in a few hours. Five fires burning. We have a map for you to help you get a sense of what's going on here because in just a few days, it's only Wednesday, all of this started Monday evening and after we are on Wednesday, we have five significant fires burning in Southern California. We were just in Ventura. So there's so much smoke, ashes in the air, and there's also a really strong wind in town right now. And we've got fires on the east of us and on the west of us. This is all the, like, just from overnight. This is the ash in the air. You can totally smell it. It just smells like there's a fire right around here. That being said, the fires moved north and they are affecting relatives of mine north of here uh, who have had to evacuate. Everybody is safe, but uh, thank you. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions from people and I appreciate the concern. So far, everybody that I know is, is safe and sound, but uh, it's pretty gnarly, as you've probably seen from the news. Feels like it's been a while since I've done one of those. It's been a busy week vlogs, but um, it's been a busy, few weeks. First of all, the 30 day challenge that I talked to you about in the last vlog, I've already, uh, I've already broken my, I've broken my chain. Nonetheless, it serves as a good reminder for what I wanna be focusing on. I, I played a few days on that TV show, The Voice. Today is Monday and uh, I'm spending all day at that TV show, The Voice. I was there all day yesterday too. Today, yesterday was the recording day. Today's the rehearsal and taping day. Yesterday was the recording and waiting day. Today is the waiting and taping day. 9.26, I got four minutes. I did some recording for a TV show, like theme music stuff. So I'm doing this uh, TV show thing today for a composer in town. This is kind of a typical thing where he'll send me something that he's done a MIDI mock-up of, and actually in this case I have the script, we kind of have a vibe of what needs to happen. It's the guy in the show actually needs to play the saxophone okay, but sort of annoyingly, like he's doing a smooth jazz thing. So my challenge here is to, first of all, play alto. Second of all, to figure out if this is the best range for it or figure out what needs to be accomplished and then put it in the right range and make it sound effective like it was being played by somebody who used to play saxophone years ago and knows how but doesn't play it regularly so it's like not quite a beginner but a, this is some typical tv recording stuff <laughs> point I ran into some problems with my audio interface and I've now had to get a new audio interface that I'm in the midst of testing out. It's called a, it's called a Claret Pre. Uh, I used to use this universal audio thing that has just not been very effective for me. What are these? Oh, I have a request. So we're trying to put together a tour in the UK and Europe for May of 2018 and running into a little difficulty in that or having a hard time getting um, a booking agent on board in the Europe portion of it. There's a company called Good Music Company. You can find them on Facebook or just Google that. I'll put a link below. Nice guys, I've, I've met them. I'm sure they're just really busy, but I bet it would help if, if you're interested in seeing my band come over and play. <laughs> lobbed in an email or a message to them saying, hey, 
you know, when's Bob Reynolds coming here or wherever, I bet that would help pique their interest and that would help us formulate some, some tour dates. Booking tour stuff, it's sort of a logistical nightmare and without assistance, it's not gonna happen for me. Uh, so that would be a good way for you to help make that happen. It's definitely the UK. I don't know exactly which parts, major city stuff. I'll put that link below and uh, maybe that'll help. Also, I've been meaning to say this for a long time, months ago, months and months ago, I came across something on YouTube that a guy had posted years ago. Let me see if I can pull this up. It's of Michael Brecker in the studio. Yes, here it is. <laughs> It's video footage of Brecker recording his Iwi, I think the whole song actually, of original, it's original Rays, track six from this album. And this is, I guess it's the guy, check this out. And here in the liner notes, it says, Synthesizer Programming by Robbie Kilgore. Synthesizer Programming by Robbie Kilgore. Robbie Kilgore is the guy whose channel it is who posted this video of him in the studio with Brecker and company recording this. It's it's really cool. It's just reminding me that I found it a, a, quite some time ago and I meant to just mention it because it's so cool to check it out and compare it with the actual CD version. So I went up last week to this company. There's a company around here that makes effects pedals called Strymon. Strymon. And I went up there to their offices to get a little one-on-one -on -one tour of some pedals, mostly just to check out, like I don't, I'm not a big pedal user, but I do, I have used that uh, Line 6, the green one, the delay modeler for, for years on and off. It's not something that I have to have. So these guys have a pedal called the Timeline, which is really cool. Uh, and I got a little personal tutorial on how to use it. I'm Dave, by the way. Hey Dave. Nice wow. to meet you. Are you having some right no, now? No, no, I'm just having coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Hugo is also very familiar. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh. So we're just gonna set up in the back. Pretty much it. We're not a big, yeah. not a big shop. Hey, I'm Bob. I'm Josh. Nice Hi, to Josh. Meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you making pedals in here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Just uh, prototyping and uh, kind of new stuff. Can we go in here? Cool. What are all these? These, these are just are like people that have tagged us. Oh, I see. Instagram. So I have a mic that goes into a preamp. <laughs> Normally you'd see the little 48 volt light on. Yeah. <laughs> It's a really cool pedal. They they have a pedal also that was called Big Sky. It's a reverb pedal. And honestly, like I can't really see how that would have a place in my set. <laughs> like, but if you ever want it, but it's really cool. And if you want to just like get lost in a swirl of amazing reverb, uh, check out their Big, Big Sky pedal. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 